my first time starting the new year far away from home. It's a nice change of pace because I can get away from my usual routine and comfort zone and put my already uncomfortable self into a headspace to make decisions and changes. In other words, it's a lot easier for me to reflect on my life when I'm not actually living in it. I kind of stayed up late last night because I had the strong urge to pour out all of my thoughts into my journal about it. I've been sitting here thinking about how I want to approach the new year in terms of like my career and I feel like this is always something that I'm constantly thinking about. I think the constant battle I have being a businesswoman and an artist is that doing all the business stuff takes a lot of like logic and a lot of stability and a lot of just like rules are set in place for things to go smoothly and to go well on this end. But being an artist sometimes requires spontaneity and feelings and um, everything not going according to plan and things going wrong and that being okay for it to become something amazing. I'm always battling these like two ends of the spectrum and I never know how to find that balance. So one of the harder decisions is do I want to purposefully let go of more stability in order to find my creative passion again? Which the answer is like, I don't know. I'm like a very safe person. I've always been so like plan everything step by step by step and lay it all out in my head before I execute it. But I definitely feel like I need to let some of that go and now I can, so I should, right? I think it's also been very helpful not being at home where everything is consistently stable for me to actually like break these things down and realize the things that were kind of holding me back. I am already uncomfortable and therefore thinking about uncomfortable changes isn't that much harder. Ugh. Let's go look for some coffee. In 2023, I started journaling again pretty frequently in the daily morning pages format, but over time it naturally evolved into journaling as often as possible whenever I want to, as long as it was a full spread of writing. It kind of lets me focus more on what's been swirling around in my head and to get it out on paper so I don't derail and get lost in my thoughts. I'm glad I brought my journal with me on my trips for those days where I get extra anxious or on edge or if I'm plotting new ideas and projects that I don't want to forget about. It's also been extra nice going out to parks alone in the mornings to journal since Taiwan has so many parks scattered everywhere. I think after visiting Italy and coming to Taiwan, I can appreciate walkable cities so much more. Like, I really wish I lived here. I kind of want to live here. I've always said I wanted to live here for at least a year. Oh, it's so nice. Everything's just so close. There's parks everywhere. Everything's so beautiful. I'm manifesting this for myself. I want to live here one day or at least visit like for a month every year.
I always love a good reorganizing and cleaning, y'all already know. It declutters my mind and it makes any space feel like a breath of fresh air. I typically like to keep my space pretty tidy and that even goes for when I travel. But today, we're actually packing up our things because it's checkout day in our Kunding Hotel. It's been refreshing living out of a suitcase. It lets me figure out what my staple closet pieces are and helps me work on creating different outfits with the same few tops and bottoms as well as understand what my essential items are. I can see what I gravitate towards in terms of my style and helps me figure out what I feel like is missing in my essential wardrobe. It's 11.27, December 31st. It's about to be the new year. been on my mind for the past few years and I'm able to do it now knowing that all the tools I need can be easily accessed on my laptop, Squarespace being one of them. Squarespace is a all-in-one platform for you to build a beautiful website and because of how simple and straightforward it is, it eases my mind knowing that I can manage and alter it anytime and anywhere. I know a lot of you are creatives and or small business owners or you're looking to open a shop or branch out into your own website. I like that Squarespace is a great place to start since you can use one plan for so many different things like e-commerce, an art portfolio, links in bio page with your own custom URL, and so much more. If you're interested in looking into it, you can go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use my code applecheeks for 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Thank you Squarespace for sponsoring another video. Some goals and intentions I have been working on and want to continue working on in the new year are to spend more intentionally and have more of a delayed gratification approach to shopping. Traveling with one suitcase has also helped me control my impulse to buy too much. With Asia having a lot more affordable things and access to a lot of cute objects, Back then, I would have fed into the shopping sprees at night markets and cute clothing shops, but knowing that I only have a small empty space in my luggage makes me purchase the things more intentionally. And what also has been helping me a lot is making wish lists with the things that I want or having a list of things that I want to replace. And after some time, if the items on the list remain the same, then I get it. And setting boundaries like prioritizing my want to support smaller businesses and designers or saving bigger purchases for special occasions helps a lot. Of course, I'm not perfect because I did give into a few claw games and blind boxes here and there, but it's still a work in progress and I've come a long way so far. <laughs> I love the little art 
fairs and markets in Taiwan, I just feel so connected to the work here. I mainly got this sticker pack for this sheet. But then I realized that like each design sheet is like printed like three different times but on three different textures of paper. There's also this set of animals and then the next is to experience more of life so that I can put it back into my art. In general, I just want to have more fun. The biggest realization I had last year with my struggle to find my creativity again was that I wasn't going out to live life and to see the world. It became too easy staying in, working all day, and then lazing around after work while the days pass me by. Exploring Taiwan has given me so much more in return creatively. Taiwan is so densely packed with culture and art. Everywhere you look, there are bright colors, cute illustrations and design, and beautiful storefronts. Even just taking a stroll in a neighborhood park and seeing it full of grandmas and children laughing and enjoying their morning has been so inspiring. It's hard to not pull out a sketchbook and doodle everything. We spent a few days in multiple parts of Taiwan. The first place was around the Ali San area, and we were able to visit a lot of the old streets, railroad stations. Places to go, things to do. Tea farms. We were even um, invited into the tea farmer's house. We hiked all over to see the beautiful views. staring at it like a kid at an aquarium. It's a video! Uh. <laughs> and the scary but cute Formosan rock monkeys. Whoa! <laughs> As long as you don't show them that you have food, I think you're okay. Also, don't bare your teeth that much. No smiling. No Got smiling. it. Look at the little noses. Oh! oh. <laughs> 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 Run away! The mossy rocks are so cute. Hiking was my favorite part of the trip. I didn't know that moss could look so vibrant and colorful in person. These trees are a thousand years old. They're so thick. So tall. Deer colors today. I got my brown on. The never gets easier. I would put on blush for a deer. Why not? Oh, I should have put sunscreen. 
Maybe she would also put on highlighter for a deer. Maybe she will even put on chapstick for a deer. Who knows? I like the same. Ooh. But is she willing to put on eyeliner for a deer? Hmm. No. She's not willing to do that. Is it completely backlit? Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna see some deer. Did you hear him? Oh my god. <laughs> Nothing. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Eat it all. Eat it all. <laughs> oh my god. We also went to the National Museum of Natural Science and Botanical Gardens when we were back in Taizong. My friend and I love houseplants and are always fangirling over the ones we're obsessed with and want. It was also nice seeing her and her boyfriend excited about seeing certain species of fish and spewing facts left and right about them. I also recommend visiting some antique stores wherever you're traveling to. I feel like doing your favorite hobbies in a different location makes it all the more interesting. I was able to see the uniforms and school bags my parents used to use when they were kids and even some games that my mom would bring back for me when she went to Taiwan when I was younger. The next goal is to pursue creativity and hobbies without overthinking it. In the new year, I want to do my best to pursue creativity over anything else, whether that is 
in painting, drawing, hobbies, I want to be disciplined enough to create time for it and actually act on it. If 2023 was a slow creative year for me, I want 2024 to be filled to the brim with making and trying new things. I tend to lean more on the overthinker side of me when it comes to starting new things to the point that I can easily talk myself out of it. If it screws up, it's on the B side. Huh? If it screws up, it's on the B side. <laughs> So it's been nice scheduling classes in advance for things like ring making workshops or that one Italian workshop where I made a leather tortellini so that I can't back out when the date arrives. Lastly, I want to spend more quality time with others and to build my relationships, especially with family. Something that has been really weighing heavily on my mind recently is time and how little we actually have to spend with loved ones. Before starting my vacation, I spent a few days in Taoyuan with my grandma and my dad's side of the family. And the last time I had visited was when I graduated college four years ago. <laughs> I feel like I got so caught up with my career that I pushed aside the fact that people still get older even when I don't see them around me. I realized that I often struggle with object and people impermanence and a while back I saw a video saying something like if you visit your parents once a year every year then you'll really only get to see them around 30 to 40 more times so I want to be better about that. Where are they? 